Hey Sam, let's take a look at your fashion photos. Um, upon opening your folder in Photo Mechanic, first thing I notice is this number down here, 120. Um, and before I even look at your photos, we will see how much time you spent. 6.39 a.m., that's right, you got up early in the morning, that's cool. Um, 10 minutes. Huh. Uh, not happy about that. We gotta put more effort into this class. We plan to succeed. Um. Okay. I'm not gonna beat you up. Uh, paint's very beautiful in the morning. Picked a good day. It's not always clear like that. She looks thrilled to be out there. Must be a good friend. Uh, it's nice light. All right, so remember your background. I know you're using the light, um, but still try to get a cleaner background. That helps when she's moving around because that, you know, covers up the cars and headlights. Um, but those white poles and things are bothersome. Um, with this type of photo, um, your photo illustration and both your fashion photo, you can do some more photoshopping. So it would have been okay if you were to use this photo, for instance, to uh, f um, clone out those white poles if you wanted to. But only for this type of imagery, not for other journalistic work. Okay, she's doing all the work here, which is fine, and that's a good model who will do that, but you need to be moving around more. Um, everything you're getting is, you know, the same, basically the same shot, just with her uh, different in it. You're, uh, I want to see that you're looking and seeing different differently, different views, different angles. Like, um, this might have been wet down here. Um, but if it wasn't wet, you know, could you, could you jump down there and, you know, shot up at her kind of standing on the ledge maybe, and you maybe just would have had sky behind her, but you would have had that beautiful light. But I understand that might've been wet. Um, but I know there's a boardwalk nearby there and there's just, uh, the light happens fast, so you have to be able to move around quickly and take a few photos here and take a few photos there and move from spot to spot. Um, don't just settle on one location. It'd be different if this was like the perfect location, but it's not for reasons that we already stated. We, I'm sorry, I, reasons I already stated. Me and my imaginary friend. All right, now I'm gonna look at your settings. Um, manual mode, good. Uh, yeah, that super aperture, I forget about that, that's nice. Yeah, everything looks real good. It looks like you're uh, familiar with your exposure compensation and you needed to use that a little bit, so that's fine. You still do these white balance things, which if, it, if you're comfortable with it, that's fine, but auto should do the trick. Um, but if it doesn't, you can, I mean, this looks really good, so. Excuse me, I don't want you to. If, uh, if you'd rather switch it that's cool too. Do you see what I'm talking about? How you're just in the same spot. You need to be like a uh, jackrabbit. I don't know if they move around a lot. I would imagine they do. You need to be like a jackrabbit and move around a lot. Oh, I like this. Dang. This stupid background, though, this is like a really beautiful photo, but it's got the road and these lights and, uh, you did such a good job getting up early and, you know, capturing the good light 
and you might have forgotten about you know some of these other basic things that you needed to keep in mind those are extremely poisonous <laughs> they're not oh that's nice and I guess we'll end it there um Okay, it looks like you, this is your last photo, and there's still plenty of good light on her face, so um, I just want to see you put in more time and effort into the, the assignments. Um, all right, Sam, if you have any questions or need me for anything at all, you know how to get in touch with me. Otherwise, I will see you on Monday.